Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. I'm YouTube famous now. And so am I, mustache. <laughs> I mean, I can't do a drama video without PP, are you kidding me? Peace! Okay, well, let's just get right into this. So, um... Oh, I have to admit it. Okay, I, uh, mm-hmm. It happened. I was watching shark videos all weekend, and, you know, I've been off the drama for a while. I haven't been watching the drama videos for a while. Yeah. Ooh, it's hot as shit out there. But anyway, uh, sometime middle of last week, I kind of started falling down the rabbit hole again. And um, I tweeted out sometime this weekend, it was just kind of a thought I had, you know? In between my rather varied eating shows, of which I've done hundreds of them now, I thought, you, so if you're new here and you're like, oh, Peter, he does story times, rants, and eating shows. No, I was the puppet master of the drama community, supposedly. Uh, I wish it had been true because all of my puppets have <laughs> ran heads and tails above me. It reminds me of class and gym back in the day, and I just couldn't even keep up, and I was huffing and puffing, and my good Judy Heather, and I would just, I said, fuck it, we're just gonna walk it, and they can all run and talk about how they did the mile and five or something like that, I could care less anyway. So their heads and tails above me, but apparently I'm the puppet master or was. I wish I still kind of had that title back a little bit. But anyway, I was, <laughs> I mean, it does serve a purpose. So anyway, I was watching these videos this weekend and I was like, oh my God, there's like so much drama going on, drama, drama. I think not. Um, so anyway, I was watching this and I thought, you know what? I reached out on Twitter. I reached out. I tweeted out. I tweeted. Tweeted. I said, um, I think I'm going to do a week of drama videos next week. Bye, PP. And um, PP said, I've had enough of this already, okay? And I was like, I'm going to do some drama videos next week. So let's just get right into it. Now, what you've just seen is there's a new wave of drama channels, okay? Well, I mean, they're not new. It's the same gangle of fools that were there before. But now what they do, I've noticed, is they do like a two-minute intro where they say, don't leave hate on anybody's channel. And um, this is just my opinion. This isn't for real. And um, I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I'm not trying to take their business. This is just my opinion. This is just... Girl, if it's just your opinion, all of y'all folks, and just say your opinion. Don't nobody need that two-minute intro of how you're not trying to cause It's just an opinion. If you were sitting across the table from your good Judy at lunch, and you're like, um, did you see The Real Housewives last night? Yes. Well, what's your opinion about Kim Richards? Do you think she's sober? Do you think she's drunk? I mean, it wouldn't be like... Well, before I preface my opinion, I'd just like to say, I've watched seven seasons of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, and I have watched Kim Richards pretty closely, so please don't send her any hate based on my opinion. But based on my opinion, what I'd like to say is this, and it's just my opinion. Huh, kill a beast. Anyway, let's get right into this. I have a list, because there's lots of drama. Let's get into this right away. You think I need my readers, I don't, but wouldn't that be cute? Everybody wants a daddy these days, trust me, okay? If you could only see my DMs. All right, first and foremost, let's discuss the queen of pop culture on YouTube. Aw, <gasps> oh, hell, the queen, Trisha Paytas. So I was watching Trisha uh, tweet out this weekend, loving it, gal, and, um, <laughs> I mean, do we take this wrestling shit seriously anyway? Like, seriously? I mean, I know that kids love it. I have a lot of my girlfriends that love it. I don't know. I think it's like, I think it's because their boyfriends and husbands are so boring in the bed that they see these men, like, wrestling in a ring, and they're like, and they're like, huh, 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 and they, like, want their men to do that with them, and so they get off watching it. That's what I think. That's just my, you know, two cents. But then it's like all these kids love it. These like 10 and 12 year old kids, right? And I don't understand that. So I just think the whole thing is kind of bizarre. Come for me, hey listen. It's, you know what, you could say it in a nice way and instead of wishing death upon some bunch of a bunch of people, you could might be <laughs> explain and you could mom it. Mom it, mom it, Amberlynn, bring your mama some sweet tea. Um, anyway, oh, by the way, my next Amy Slayton video is coming because everybody keeps on asking me, where's Amy Slayton been? And I will tell you. So anyway, but I was watching this. So Trisha did a video where she talked about how she had a video or she had a date with this Dolph Ziggler. 
Who would go on a, I mean, I, I was like, is she going on a date with that inspirational speaker, Zig Ziglar? That's what I thought at first. Uh, you know, <laughs> what's that saying that he used to say? Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh my God. Can you imagine the two of them together? That would be hilarious. But anyway, no, it was this uh, WWE wrestler, World Wrestling Entertainment, I guess is it. Anyway, and so she talked in there about how he canceled the last minute and all this kind of stuff, right? And then all these people came for her. Well, this is where Peter Mon entered the whole thing. Because I'm sitting there and I'm reading the tweets. And I'm like, all right, girl, all right. This is Trisha that I love. You know, she's getting all into this and all this kind of stuff, right? And then um, the best was this girl tweeted to her something to the effect of, it's people like you that are dividing this country. Hmm? And I was like, um, Trisha Paytas. <laughs> Trisha Paytas. Trisha Paytas is single-handedly dividing this country. That's a lot of power. That's a lot of power. <laughs> Good to know. Anyway, I was like, our founding fathers would be what? So, <laughs> the World Wrestling Organization and Trisha Paytas are dividing our country. It's not all of this war and political disbelief on Facebook and all of these opinions. No, it's Trisha Paytas and the world of wrestling are dividing this country. Please now, please. Can we just get a grip? I mean, seriously, there are bigger issues in the world than all of this, okay? But I did love her tweets. I just couldn't stop reading them anyway. I was like, that is such foolishness. Next. Okay, can we just talk about this Manny MUA and Laura Lee thing for a second? I mean, I couldn't even get to my, I was trying to see when the most popular girls in high school was returning to YouTube. Do you guys do that? I feel like YouTube is a television cable station at this point. But anyway, and I couldn't even get to it because every other channel that I'm subscribed to was talking about how Laura Lee and Manny MUA, Manny Mua, who cares? He has the hottest ass in the business. I don't care. He could lie to me all day long. I'd still be like, your ass is fine, okay? And they lied about getting all this shit free. And, oh, we clocked at the house. We clocked at the house, girl. We got the snap, the Snapchat reports and the receipts and all this stuff. Girl, okay. Uh, who cares? They got a bunch of shit for free. They should get a bunch of fr shit for free. They talk about it all the time, right? And this is what kills me about all this kind of stuff is like, I was thinking about this and I was like, because I talked about it in my live stream. And um, somebody said to me, yes, but if that was a 13-year-old boy out there that was very, very upset because he was excited about buying those products and Manny MUA like, said that he bought them, but he got... This is getting rather deep, isn't it? I mean, seriously? Um, I think that 13-year-old boy, this is just my opinion because I've been that 13-year-old boy. I think that 13-year-old boy would want the products whether he had to, whether Manny bought them or got them for free. That's just my, my two cents, okay? And let me just tell you something else, too. And people can come for me all they want to say about this. I don't really care. But this is called product placement. And it has been happening for years and 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 years, probably back even in Shakespeare's time. So if you don't think it has, it has, okay? And let me just tell you right now. There is one person that is responsible for the Birkin phase, and that is Kim Kardashian. And if you don't believe it, go back into your history when the gal started it. And let me just tell you about the Louboutins, too, okay? That was Oprah Winfrey. When she started wearing the Louboutins, and she sat on stage, and she talked about how much she loved them, and she crossed her legs on stage, and everybody could see those red bottoms, and they wanted them. And they didn't give a shit if they had to pay $1,500 to $5,000 for a pair of basic red high heels, because Oprah said... They're the most comfortable shoes in the entire world, and they make you tall. And I've heard every girl of mine that has a pair say, uh, they're so uncomfortable, I can't stand them. So anyway, it's been happening for years. You think that Oprah and Kim Kardashian and all these people are buying all of this shit? I mean, are, do you really buy into that? Listen, if I was rich and famous, I'd want the Sharon Stone discount too. I'd walk in there and I'd be like, I, I'm Peter Mon, I'm YouTube baby. You, baby, you better give me some sausage and biscuits and gravy for free, Bob Evans. I talk about you in every damn video. I thought it was rather nice that Morphe gave them all that stuff for free. I do think it's funny, though, and I'm going to tell you guys this. I think it's shit like this that goes down. I think Laura Lee and uh, Manny Mua and his hot ass are driving there to the mall, and they're sitting there, and they're going, this is what we're going to do. We're going to Snapchat that receipt, and everybody's going to see that it says zeros next to it, and it's going to be a bunch of drama, and then everybody's going to come to us, and we're going to get a bunch more subs, and it's going to be wonderful, and then Morphe's going to be like, thank Thank you so much. Now everybody wants Morphe. It's all just a big conspiracy, don't you see? Excuse me. Anyway, moving right along, let's talk about 
When my face gets real red like that, that's my blood pressure. You guys are causing me to have a heart attack. Seriously, with all this drama. I can't keep up with it. Okay. Number three, Jeffree Star kicks uh, Nathan's brother out. Okay, let's talk about this. Because I saw all these videos. I'm trying not to say people's names in this video. I really am. Okay, but some of these drama channels... Gal, I know it's just your opinion, but this is the this is the problem with people's opinions. And like I've said it in the past, okay? Opinions are like assholes. We've all got one, all right? But if I sat here on camera, here I'll give you an example. Well, I was gonna use Pee Pee, but he doesn't want to be on camera. If I said, for example, um, you know, like, oh, Kim Kardashian didn't go to the hospital when, you know, Black China had her baby. Okay, let's just say if that was fact, right? And then I said, now, what, this is just my opinion, okay? This is just my opinion. But, you know, I don't think that Kim, Kim Kardashian is probably very proud of Black China. I wouldn't be very proud of Black China. Therefore, I wouldn't go to the hospital room, which would cause, probably cause friction between Rob and Kim and the rest of the family. And then everybody knows that, you know, Kim's the one that runs the family. I mean, really, Chris, but... Anyway, and so then it would cause friction, and then Black China would say, Rob, I don't want to be married to you, and this is just how things happen. I've had this happen. That is not an opinion, okay? That is scripting lies is what it is called. It is not an opinion. An opinion is saying, I thought it was shitty that Kim didn't show up for Black China having her baby. That's an opinion, okay? An opinion would be, I think it's cute that Kim Kardashian was right there with teddy bears and nine million other toys, okay? An opinion is not scripting out these lies of what might have happened. That's bullshit is what that is. And that is, you're putting some real negativity out there into the world. But I'm going to talk about it anyway. So this is what I think. First of all, I thought it was real nice of Jeffrey to have Nathan's brother up in that house. No, he's a better man than I am because they're both of them hot as shit. So anyway, but I thought it was real nice that he had him up in there. Now, uh, my mother taught me <laughs> when you're in a relationship, don't have a third. Okay, don't have, that. well, I mean, that's a different kind of a relationship. But don't have like, you know, somebody's brother, sister's mama, grandma up in your house. And listen, Alex has tried, you know, like I mean, he, my husband's Venezuelan. Those Latinos are thick, okay? He's like, we got a full basement, you know? My brother and sister-in-law can move in there with their two kids. I was like, no, ma'am, not on today. Uh-uh, never. No win who, mama? No. Uh-uh, up in my refrigerator trying to eat my Nutella. And uh-uh, no. They could buy their own groceries, and that's probably what happened. I mean, he probably came home every night, and I can just imagine, you know, Nathan and his brother were just high as kites, sitting there on the couch playing, you know, I don't know, Halo or World of Warcraft or something like that. And Jeffrey just thought, when the fuck am I ever getting laid? I got to get this kid out of there, you know? And then I heard that he's going to buy a house in Michigan, probably going to move that boy up in there, and that's very fine. I think that's very nice, and I think that's the right thing to do. But everybody wants to come for Jeffrey and say that this is so negative and all this kind of stuff that... No, I think it's smart. He's wanting to save his relationship, and I think he tried to get that kid on his feet, and whatever. I think it's a nice thing, and you know what? It's none of our business. I mean, he talked about it on social media. Listen, I rant on social media, too. That's what you do when you're a famous YouTuber. Jeffree Star and I are basically two famous YouTubers, so we have to talk about our personal life. <laughs> Jeffrey, I hope you see that one, and you know that I'm right. we're right there, okay? I mean, we're basically equal as far as fame. But anyway... I think it's really interesting that everybody is talking about that, but nobody's talking about the fact after all of you who did videos out there about Jeffree Star's fake relationship and now he wants to buy a house in Michigan. I think that says their relationship is pretty serious, don't you? Oh no, but what do they want to cast shade on? He says he doesn't want to stay in a hotel anymore, but really it's probably that he just doesn't want to stay with their family. Who would? I'm not a big couch surfer myself, girl. Give me a Four Seasons all day long. I love it, okay? And if I had the coin to go buy a house up in Michigan, have you been to Michigan? It is beautiful up in Michigan, okay? i buy a house there, too. And I'd let uh, my brother-in-law have at it and sit there and manage it and trust it and all that kind of stuff. And then I'd have a beautiful house to go stay in when I was there. But I think it's interesting that nobody is talking about the fact that this is kind of a commitment move that Jeffrey's wanting to buy a house in Michigan. Like, that's a big deal. Props to you, Jeffrey and Nathan. I think that's awesome. I think it's a move in the right direction. So, you know what? I think instead we need to be pop spreading positivity, not negativity, and lies and lies and lies. Oh, and what probably happened was this, that, and the other. Who care? Who care about all your opinions? Anyway, and then the last one I want to talk about is, and this is so funny because so many people brought this to me, and I just was like, 
when I went and watched it, I was like really ready. Like I, had, this is what happens. Okay, I think this is the problem with a lot of uh, drama channels, is that people said to me, "Go watch Tana Mojo and James Charles videos." Now, okay, listen. Okay, listen. Happy birthday, James. You're 18 now. The whole world can talk about you. But she bores my ass off. Okay until I saw these videos. I had watched James Charles and I just didn't think that he was real interesting. I just, you know, like, listen, I've said this a million times before, the beauty thing is just not my gig, right? And I just, I'd watched him in a live stream one time and he basically just texted the whole time. And I was like, girl, at least read us your text. Or probably, so, I mean, isn't he the face of like cover girl? I mean, he's the face of fucking cover girl, girl. Get interesting, you know? Or maybe it's Maybelline, Manny. Do you think Manny's like so pissed? He's like, that fucking kid got cover girl and I got Maybelline. <laughs> Do you think they're too pissed as hell? Anyway, no, I mean, they all seem real friendly, don't they? But okay, so I didn't, you know, like I didn't really care about James Charles either way. I did think it was interesting though that he was a minor, even though he was a public figure and that the entire world wanted to cast all this shade on him. I thought mm, that's very interesting, don't you think? But anyway, making five and six videos about somebody that's, a kid basically give him a little bit of a break so anyway but i went all these people were like oh watch the tana mojo james charles video they're obviously not friends the whole thing is faked okay i went and watched it and i actually watched tana's video first now i will tell you i'm not a big fan of tana mojo well i wasn't but i watched a bunch of her videos this week and i was like she kind of reminds me of some girlfriends of mine back in high school i kind of i kind of can get with her gig a little bit now, paying, she's going on world tour, she said, paying $200 to see her up in some little uh, rinkety ass, I love that she owns a ratchetness, I will say that, but some rinkety ass little under 21 club, so all of her friends come see her for $200 to get a signed picture of Tana and hear her tell a fucking 15 minutes. No, ma'am, Stevie Nicks has been sitting, you know, rock on gold dust woman for 30 years, I wouldn't pay $200 to see her in the front row, no, ma'am, no, all day, uh-uh. But I do like her. I think she's kind of funny, and I do love that she owns a ratchetness. So anyway, she does James Charles makeup, and she makes him look absolutely buggered, and it's hilarious, right? And, she's, and she does it in her own style, and it is so cute, and he's laughing, and they're talking, and whatever. Now, the best part of that video, if you go to watch it, is the gal who's asleep. She looks like she's homeless herself. The gal that's asleep on the couch couch over there with her hoodie up over. She's the best thing in the entire world. And they keep on talking about Trevor. They talk about Trevor Moran. I just watched Trevor Moran on, look at her! He's, that kid is hilarious. Like, I really like him. He's going places at Trevor Moran. I didn't really care for him. <laughs> Where did this go? I didn't really care for him a whole lot before when he was dancing in the Apple store, but now I kind of like him a little bit. I think he's kind of smart. He seemed very smart on that look. Look at her! Look at her! But anyway, is that who they're talking to in the background, Trevor? Is that the Trevor they're talking to? But anyway, there's the gal asleep on the couch, which just cracks my shit up all day long, right? And so Tana turns James Charles into this booger version of herself. It's hilarious. But then let's go back. So then I watch, and, I, and I'm watching this, and I'm thinking, everybody's saying that they, like, hate each other, and you can read it in their body language. I was like, no, I can't read it. They seem like they hang out together. I don't know. She's probably his wild side. She's probably like, come on, James, come on. We're good. Baby, I just can't, okay, with all of that. Can you take that fuckboy hat off, please? I mean, he has nice hair, and he always wears that hat. I don't get it. First of all, I would say, okay, here's the deal. We're going to get rid of that James thing. We're going to start calling you Jimmy, okay, because that's cuter anyway. You're a Jimmy. You're not a James. And second of all, take off that fuckboy hat. I'm so tired of it. All of them do it. All of those makeup goody gurus do it. Manny Mua does it, too, and he's so much cuter when he does his hair, why I did my hair today. So somebody might say your hair looks nice, see? Anyway, um, <laughs> so then I go and I watch James Charles doing Tana Mojo's makeup. Have you seen this video? Okay, listen, I was like, I started watching this video and I was like, come on now, girl. Eight, I did that backhanded. 18 year old makeup guru of the world. I ain't buying it, baby. She turned, he turned her out. She looks so good. I was like, oh my God. She, I mean, she looked so good at the end of the video. And um, I don't really understand this. So I, like, when I watch Nikki tutorials, it's the same thing. It's like, it takes so much makeup to kind of look like you don't have any makeup on at all. That's why I just don't wear makeup. Or maybe I have a pound of it on. You guys go, God, you look so good. And I'm like, natural. But anyway... Um, so I watched it and they're like laughing and he's like telling her and this like true story reminded me of like coloring my girlfriend's hair back in the day in high school and he's like Tana stop Tana stop Tana. it was so funny 
I was like, you can't fake this shit. They're friends. Like, they are friends. And all these, I read the comments and people are like, you can tell they hate each other. And I was like, you can? I thought these two were totally genuine and authentic together. I actually love them as a duo and I think they should do a makeup tutorial once a week together. I thought it was cute. I think they should do a story time or something together. I think they are the perfect balance. I think they, I think Tana Mojo and James Charles are the perfect balance together to do a video. I loved it. I mean, I thought it was absolutely, absolutely hilarious collab. And I thought it was so cute and genuine. And they're both almost like identically, they're like a year apart, right? So it like... It works perfectly. I mean, maybe he can take, she can take him on tour and then he can charge $200 too to do, I don't know, makeup. I did very much feel like when I watch these videos, I feel like I'm going through the mall and like the mat counter is right there in the mall. Like, do you think every one of those boys that works at the mat counter one day dreams of being like a makeup booty guru or what? <laughs> one day my <laughs> shangri -la. Anyway, um, so that's my drama for the week. I, now, listen, listen, I'm going to be back doing a little bit of drama, girl. But I may not be doing it every day, okay? I may just do my week in drama, like I'm doing today. And, uh, but if drama comes up, I'm going to do the drama. And like I said, I will be doing a video on where has Amy Slayton been? So stay tuned, because that's a good one. I love you guys, and, um... I do content daily, and I'm blogging every year for the year 2017, and uh, I'm really active on social media, especially Twitter and Snapchat, so follow me on there, send me messages, and you'll get a message back. I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.